Cyber file. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Bloodborne with Cyberfile. On the last episode, we got our asses handed to us by a giant jerk with a fucking ball and chain. So, we are going to actually upgrade our weapon. Uh, I talked about it a lot in the last episode because we are just not doing very much damage. And actually, I can show you what upgrading that's all about. So, I'll see you after this loading screen. Okay, here we are in the Hunter's Dream. Um, there is a little area over here that we can upgrade our weapon. And let's see. You need 16 bloodstones to upgrade past the bloodstone area. So we're going to upgrade our saw spear once. And then 5 puts a stand to... Yeah, too low. So we'll just keep the plus 1 for the time being and leave the rest as is. Let's repair our cane for shits and giggles, because your weapons do lose their ability. Um, once you upgrade it, though, it, au it auto-repairs it, so we might have been doing even less damage with our saw spear due to that. Finally, we have the blood gem thing that we can do now, um, that we picked up a little bit ago. We do have a little blood gem that we can do to uh, make our weapon just a little bit stronger. You can see over there on the right, physical attack up, and our HP will constantly recover. That's pretty sweet. We'll take it. You can get three different blood gems on each weapon, and uh, there are different types of blood gems that determines which type can go in uh, different slots, so every weapon is different in that aspect. Let's see what German has to say, since he's out and about. The moon is close. It will be a long hunt tonight. If the beasts loom large and threaten to crush your spirits, Seek a holy chalice, as every hunter before you has. A holy chalice will reveal the tomb of the gods, where hunters partake in communion. Most of the holy chalices lie deep within the tomb of the gods, and the few that found their way to the surface were lost again in the hands of men. But if the old hunter tales remain true, one of the holy chalices is worshipped in the valley hamlet. Yet the town is in disarray. It was burned and abandoned for fear of the scourge. Home now only to beasts. The perfect place for a hunter, wouldn't you say? One of the holy. So, we need to head down to Old Diarnum to get to that holy chalice. And the holy chalice will enable us to do chalice dungeons, which we'll talk about in a minute. Let's see what the doll has to say, because I'm pretty sure she has some new dialogue as well. Welcome home. What is it you? Over time, countless hunters have visited this dream. The graves here stand in their memory. It all seems so long ago now. Over time, so it all So, see, so, well. can we get any levels while we're here? We can. Right, since we're doing a blood tinge build, I'm going to work on getting this to 20 first. That's another thing that's probably making us a little bit weaker <laughs> as we play, but it is what it is. Actually, do we have enough to buy the repeating pistol? No. However, there's items that I've been saving for whatever reason. You don't really need to. And that's these cold bloods. You can use them and they will instantly give you some uh, blood echoes. So let's just go ahead and use these up, and we might be able to buy that repeating pistol and get a few levels in the in the process. So now we definitely have enough for the pistol. Let's get that. Yeah. And we will equip that in our pistol slot. Does a little more damage, and it actually fires two bullets per. There it is. It's actually pretty neat looking. <laughs> Double-barreled. 
repeating pistol. I can dig it. And then, let's see, do we have enough for another level, then? Yes, we do. So we'll put another point in blood tinge. Okay. So now, let's head back to the Cathedral Ward and explore the other direction we haven't headed in yet. So, the Holy Chalices. They're going to enable us to do chalice dungeons, which are completely optional as far as um, the story goes. However, um, if you want to get all the trophies in the game, which I already have, but if you want to get all the trophies in the game, you have to go through a number of chalice dungeons. They're pretty challenging. Um, some are randomly generated. And then, then um, a good number of them are the same every time. You need to find different ingredients in order to get into those chalice dungeons. Okay, so let's take care of these jack-offs. Our weapon should be a little more useful now that we've upgraded it once. Oh, man, got us with that side hit. There we go, 41 damage. We're doing practically double what we did in the past. As you can see though, it did cost us two bullets. Okay, so we haven't gone this way just yet. So let's do it. So we've got a number of enemies here, so our best bet... Oops. I always do that. Try to press up to to switch my items better. We're gonna lure them out one by one. Because I don't want to face them all at once. And it's never a good idea to, if you can help it. Here comes the dog. No problem. We've got two more guys. They're far enough away from each other that I should just be able to run in and give one of these guys a piece of my mind. Yeah. This guy needs to reevaluate his life. Because now he's dead. So there's no more life for him to reevaluate. Oh well. Pick up a couple items. And we're not gonna head in there because there's nothing we can really do in there yet. But there will be soon. This part can kind of suck the first time you play it, ever, because of the dogs. You just kind of rush in, and that guy with the gun up there starts shooting at you. And the dogs are pretty annoying, as you can tell. Get out of here. It did a reasonable amount of damage to me. And now that the dogs are gone, though, we don't have to worry about that guy sniping us while we're trying to fight dogs. Whereas normally you might you may have tried to just run up the stairs at him. We don't have to worry about that now. So through here we can find an ally. We're actually gonna leave a note here. There you go. Wondrous friend. Therefore treat man with care. There we go. That way you know not to kill this guy when you interact with him for the first time. This is Alfred. You're a beast hunter, aren't you? I knew it. That's precisely how I started out. Oh, beg pardon. You may call me Alfred. Protégé of Master Ligarius. Hunter of vile bloods. So, what say you? Our prey might differ, but we are hunters, the both of us. Why not cooperate? and discuss the things we've learned. Oh, very good. Very good indeed. Take this to celebrate our acquaintance. Beast hunting is a sacred practice. May the good blood guide your way. There must be oodles for us to share. Go on, just tell me what piques your interest. 
As you know, the Healing Church is the fountainhead of blood healing. While I'm a simple hunter quite unfamiliar with the ins and outs of the institution, but I have heard that the holy medium of blood healing is venerated in the main cathedral, and that counselors of the old church reside in the high stratum of the cathedral ward. If you seek blood healing, and the church is willing, you should pay them a visit. Bergenworth is an old place of learning, and the tomb of the gods, carved out below Yarnum, should be familiar to every hunter. Well, once a group of young Bergenworth scholars discovered a holy medium deep within the tomb. This led to the founding of the Healing Church and the establishment of blood healing. In this sense, everything sacred in Yarnum can be traced back to Bergenworth. But today, the college lies deep within a tangled wood, abandoned and decrepit. And furthermore, the Healing Church has declared Bergenworth forbidden ground. It's unclear how many of its scholars remain alive, but only they know the password that allows passage through the gate. I bid you farewell. It has been a pleasure. May the good blood... Alrighty. So, uh, Alfred just cued us in on a lot of story bits and where to go and what to do. Um, so we can head through... Um, the, the main cathedral is where we want to head for the blood ministration. And then Bergenworth is where a lot of shit in the story of Bloodborne goes down. So, we'll learn all about Bergenworth later. But, essentially what you need to know is that they discovered the tombs below Yarnum that are activated, or activated, that you can find when you use the chalices the chalice dungeons. So, that is what that is all about. But it's a place of learning, a place of scholars and scholarly things. Remember these guys? I never have enough. Him, no problem. We fought a million of these guys. And a bloodstone. We'll take it. Continue our descent. Our dark descent. Up here, there should be an item for us to nab. Some antidotes. Nothing wrong with those. In fact, antidotes are super useful, so I'm gonna put them on our quick bar. Down here is another lamp. Because this lamp leads into Old Yarnum through that door, which we will explore thoroughly on the next episode of Let's Play Bloodborne. See you there. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more Cyberfile content, and feel free to drop a like or comment. If you like this video, you might also like one of my other videos, like the one in the video inlay. Click it to jump to it. Alternatively, if it's uploaded, you can click on the next episode button in the bottom right to jump to the next episode in this Let's Play series. Cyberfile Offline.